one. We're live. Okay, uh, g'day guys. Uh, we're here with Vape Force One here at Primrose Park where we've had our campaign launch uh, on our big journey to legalise vaping across Australia. Uh, as we keep saying, vaping is vaping nicotine is illegal in every state and territory and carries fines of up to forty five thousand dollars and two years in prison. I'm here with everyone who's supporting us. Give us uh, a quick cheer, team. guys. Yeah. 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 Uh, and I'm here with Dr. Colin Mendelson, who's been a supporter from Day Dot. Uh, Colin, did you want to have a few words to say about our campaign and why you support it? Yeah, look, I, I, I think that it's a no-brainer, really. Um, uh, our politicians haven't worked it out yet, but there's a huge public health benefit in vaping. And, and the laws that make nicotine illegal are just not based on, on the evidence that we see from overseas. Uh, and, and from the research. So we can see that clearly it's got a valuable role in saving lives and in reducing uh, illness from smoking. So I, I strongly support this, uh, this uh, uh, campaign to, to, to uh, make nicotine legalised and more, more available and accessible to Australian smokers. Fantastic. Um, this is just day one of our campaign. This is where we're having our campaign launch. Uh, tomorrow from 10am we'll be at Skillian Park in Terrigal and we'll be there for two days. Uh, and then moving on through towns all the way up along the east coast of Australia and then back down through regional Australia, stay, uh, stopping at major towns to sort of spread the word, get information out there and call on state and federal MPs to support our campaign to legalise vaping. We know it'll save 500,000 lives with the stroke of a pen. Uh, if you want to see where we're at and see where we're going and the dates that we're stopping in a town near you, just go to our website, legalisevaping.com.au uh, and you'll see all of our stops, all of our locations uh, and you can get in contact with, with me directly uh, if you want to meet up and, and you know, run through some of the information we have. Um, Colin, what would you say is the main reason why sort of policymakers in Australia as opposed to in the UK, in the EU, mm. in New Zealand, Canada, mm. America, where they've legalised nicotine vaping, mm. why do you think we have such a precautionary mm. approach here? Yeah, in Australia the tobacco control framework has all been about abstinence only, so that people have been encouraged to quit and that's been the only option. But we now have another option, and I don't think we've quite got our head around tobacco harm reduction. And, and that recognises that most smokers actually want to quit, but just aren't able to. And, you know, they're, they're remaining at high risk of smoking related disease. And we need to support them. We can't just abandon them. And this particular technology offers them great hope. Um, many people enjoy their smoking, and they can continue to have a smoking experience but without all the poisons. So uh, I think this will happen eventually, but we need to convince um, governments that this is a, a sensible course of action. And we shouldn't be making policy based on ideology, on emotion, on opinion. It should be based on evidence. And I think the evidence is there now. OK, we've just got one. Uh, Julia's online. She says it needs to be legal, as I rely on it daily for my bipolar and depression. Mm -hmm. And also Rachel Naomi has just tuned in as well, so... Yeah, I think, I mean, smoking rates are very high in people with mental illness and it's very hard for those people to quit. And we're really stigmatising and um, harming that group by not allowing safer alternatives. So it's particularly important for people who are at high risk uh, in those sorts of groups. where people that are currently smoking, they've tried every trick in the book that the government approves to get off smoking. They've tried patches, they've tried gum, and it's not working, and we know that vape, uh, nicotine vapes do work. Uh, we're at a point now where we have more smokers now than we did when plain packaging laws were introduced and you know increased uh, taxes. So all the restrictions we're putting in place now don't work, uh, whereas if, they were, if our federal government and our state governments were just to legalise vaping fully, we would see a reduction. So that's what we're all here for. We're all here to get people off tobacco and allow people who are long-time sufferers to make the switch and lead a better life. Yeah, well said. Absolutely. Thank you. Fantastic. Um, How long are you on the road for? Uh, we're on the road until February 15th. Uh, we're stopping in major towns all along the East Coast, back down through regional Australia, all the way down to Bendigo, Ballarat, uh, into Melbourne, uh, and then back up the coast towards Bega, into Canberra, where we're having an event at Parliament House. Uh, and then back into Sydney for our... OK, uh, and if anybody our, can't actually make it along to any of the events, how can they help support? So you can go to our website and sign up online. If you support vaping, our online form will actually send a message to your local MP letting them know that you want vaping legalised and that essentially 
they're making a criminal out of you right now by not letting you have nicotine vapes. And if you do have a nicotine vape in any state or territory, you are breaking the law right now. And that's what we're trying to that's what we're trying to change. Fantastic. And we're going to be doing more live streams at all Absolutely, of the events. Absolutely, every day. Fantastic. All right. Easy. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Big cheer. Hey. Hey.